This is the HeatKit DX40 uh, hooked up to one of the most highly technically advanced uh, dummy loads that, would, what, that was used in the late 50s and early 60s. Uh, this type of dummy load is extremely expensive but does give a generally decent match and you will see this dummy load in operation in just a moment. In order to tune up the DX40, we first put it in the tune position and we adjust this for 3 mils of grid current. Now there we are. And then we put it in standby. And as with any type of transmitter uh, with parallel circuits in the final, you have to tune the final output for minimum current. And this is what we're going to do. So we throw it in the CW position and I guess you can see the highly visible dummy load. Very expensive. They are totally illegal to buy now, as you may know. So, uh, these are very hard to find, very rare, but I am not selling the dummy load with this, unless you want to pay an additional $50. Then we can put it in the phone position. As you can see, the power does go down, but we are going to modulate it. Hello, one, two, three, four. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and as you can see, the dummy load is no dummy. Uh, it lights up as we speak into it. Uh, now we have it on 40 meters. I have a 40 meter crystal, 7152 in there, and we will try it on 40 meters. And we have to peak, we peak the, there we go, we set that up. And now we are going to tune it up on 40 meters, throw it in the CW position. And we dip the plate, we dip the current. Oh, sorry, we're in the wrong. There we go. We dip the current and then we increase the loading. Oh, look at that bulb. That dummy load just light up. My God, there it is. Look at the brilliance on that dummy load. It's no dummy. Okay, that's 40 meters. We'll go up to 20 meters. You won't, uh, I'm going to turn the receiver off and I'm just going to put it on 20 meters and we'll see if we have any output on 20 meters uh, that'll be twice 7152 whatever that is and we adjust the grid for 3 mils of grid current and there we are and now we put it in the CW position let's put the loading down to zero let's put this over the plate and there we whoa that's way too much and we gotta dip the we dip this down there we go we don't see anything lighting up. I wonder if there's any power in there. There we go. And we just dip this down some more. We'll bring this up. A very nice balancing act up on 20 meters. Isn't this, aren't you enjoying this? Oh, look at this. There we go. Oh, it's so wonderful to see that br brightness. We'll put it in the phone position and see if we get anything there. Hello, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hello, test. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try 15 meters. We'll put this down to zero. We'll put this over the grid. We'll put this over the tune. Put this over there. Uh, we don't generally get a lot as much drive on 15 meters. Uh, with these older rigs, they tend to get weaker as they get up. I'm surprised we get anything on 10 meters. And so there's our grid drive at uh, 2 mils. We'll put it in the CW position. Put this over the plate. Put this over the CW. And there's the, there we are loaded up on 15 meters. We don't seem to have quite as much output there on 15 meters, but I don't think the match is as good either. I may actually try a real dummy load on this. But let's see if it modulates. One, two, three, four. And yep, we get a little bit of modulation. Okay, I put a real dummy load on it, and I took the light bulb off. And we're getting about 40 watts output up here which is about the normal, maybe it's a little hot, little light, uh, and 125 mils. Uh, but that's, I put a real dummy load on it, a, a, an old boring resistor.